If there's any awakening, there can be an awakening to the dream. There's no person who awakens. Consciousness is already awake. Consciousness is awakeness. Mm. Consciousness is awakened. Consciousness was never asleep. But what what happened was in the human experience that comes the, the sense of being a separate entity, a separate person develops, and you can see it in your own experience. And that so, so that concept uh, gets developed of me, this me image and the me story. And we can say it's a dream because yeah. it's a story. Yeah, that's all there right. is no psychological suffering unless the image or a dream story is playing. So there can be an awakening to the dream. In other words, you see that oh, this me, it's all a story. Mm. So I'm awakened to the dream, or there's an awakening to the dream. But the dream character, Scott, didn't wake up. He was a, he's a, it's, it's just a dream. Yeah. So there's an awakening to the dream. I like how we are. Mm -hmm. put there's no person who awakens. Like Scott doesn't become an enlightened person, or Joe, or Stephen. Yeah, that mental, you know, that's why I said that mental. You try to enlighten the mental conscious right. yourself. That's the same as you would have making a million dollars or gaining fame. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's we started earlier talking about that. Like enlightenment is just the spiritually correct way to attain the ultimate. This is maybe my fifth or sixth time here, and things have just evened out for me. Just without any effort. All my emotional stuff was kind of leveled out. Right decisions seem to be made. I seem to be doing the right thing at the right time and not what I would react to two months ago. It still happened, but I don't, I'm not involved with it. Well, I'm minimally involved. Everything is getting less reactive. In your level, and everything's just happening without effort. It's not like, okay, I'm not, I can't react to that. It's just, Oh, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I know who I am. You know, which Stephen pointed out without doubt. And it's there. And it's, very, it's been very experiential for me. Sometimes I think about it, sometimes I don't, but everything is just seems to be falling into place you know, nicely. Mm -hmm. How does that happen? To get to this point. You know, um, I've done a lot of, a lot of, a lot of different things with a lot of different, you know, modalities, and the Advaita thing always kind of captured me, Rama and Mahashi, and, you know, the people you're talking about in some ways. But most of them, you can't, you know, you, you can't sit down in this kind of format and talk about it. And, and most of the people aren't available on the East Coast. So when I saw Stephen's website, I, you know, I said, well, you know, he's somebody that's close to what I can, you know. And I came up here, and and he maybe I remember from the first time pointed out who I am. So I mean, experience that myself as I always am, consciousness and awareness or presence, or how you describe it, and it's undeniable. You know, when, you know, it's what you are right now is what we all are. But when you see it, for just, oh yeah, it's there all the time. For me, anyways, then over a little bit of the, the more you see that, see who you are, and see who you're not, and maybe going back and forth with the two, and then they kind of, kind of neutralize it. You kind of go neutralize, and things just they start happen all like I mean, there's no been no effort on my part to make any changes. It's just happening by itself. And my old stuff is still there, but I'm not paying less attention to it. It's not getting my attention. It's like, oh yeah, you again. Okay, next, next. But what do you do when things that are not going the, the right way? Uh, I've had some bad days and just watch. Don't like it, but I just watch. You just watch. There's nothing you can do about it. How you do not get involved? You know, you can be, uh, they can be a fire over there, and I can say, I'm going to stay as far away from that fire as possible. Or I can go up and stick my face in it and get burned. So I'm going to, I'm going to get maybe a few cinch hairs here, but I'm not going to stick my head in that fire, which I've done every day for like, you know, 40 years. So, okay, that's what's going on. I've seen this show before. Probably see it again, but I, I know what it is. It doesn't catch me. And it's cutting repetition. Same stuff, nothing new. 
I haven't decided not to be involved. It's just I'm not involved in this much. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or 10 minutes from now, but I know this is what's going to happen. And the seeking, to me, the, the spiritual seeking just like, bang, stop. You know. Now, if I, I still read and I love to look at the internet, but it's more for enter, just for my own entertainment. Because uh, uh, sometimes I get into oh man, that's such a nice way of looking at that. The beautiful people, different perspectives, same to say and stuff. Like different musicians playing, you know, it's just beautiful. But it, I don't, I'm not looking for a teacher or, or an experience because I always thought it was a, a metaphysical experience. Some sort of light was going to come in, the chakra was going to open. But those things may happen. But those things are still just seen as conscious, they're happening in consciousness. You know, so people chase for years and years after having some sort of uh, mystical experience, and it doesn't last. I mean, it goes, and then you're back where you started. Sometimes worse, because then you're trying to chase that. And I mean, I've had experiences when I was younger. I would go three or four months in just absolute ecstatic states of consciousness, and maybe grass and limbo. I can't regain that state of consciousness. That what's going on then? I have no idea what it was, and it's you know, I'm not going after it anymore. But now I'm not searching for anything. So I know who I am. I know what consciousness. And I know what I'm not. Sometimes I get lost in the story. Not really, but that's part of the story too, being lost in the story. And I find that the more I hear this, I come up here, the less the story's grabbing me. And, and maybe I don't know if it's consequence, but things seem to be going better for me. I'm not, I'm not reacting and, and obsessing over the same thoughts. Those thoughts come up. Oh, yeah, okay. Don't, they don't grab me anymore. Or oh, less and less and less and less and less. And some things like this, I'm not thinking about the future as much. I'm not thinking about the past as much. I'm just kind of just, well, here I am. Nothing's changed, but in a certain sense, everything's changed. It's not the last of lights coming out of my head. And no concept to uh, become enlightened. You know, which the, when I started doing this, it was an idea. Okay, I have to get a separate entity. Now I found my that feeling who I am. Now I have to get that enlightened and have that the entity must have the spiritual experiences and it must, you know, completely awakening. Because I thought that this, I thought that was the way. But that's just another experience happening in consciousness. So if you think that's it, but that's not it. Tell the story. Yeah. Well, it's just, you know, if there's, if there's a guru I'm sure somebody who's a guru that has all those things happening, maybe he thinks that's who he is. You know, oh, well, I'm the guru, I get the call, I can do shop people on this, but this is another story going on. You know, this story's going to come to an end, just like my story. Yeah. If there's any awakening, there can be an awakening to the dream. There's no person who awakens. Consciousness is already awake. Consciousness is awakeness. Mm. Consciousness is awakened. Consciousness was never asleep. Mm. 